all-inclusive island. That was crazy. Yeah. Nat, and in 2021, we traveled to all 50 U.S. states as part-time travelers. And while we've absolutely loved experiencing the beauty of our own country and will continue to do so, we're also excited to explore what lies beyond the U.S. borders. In last week's video, we explored the island of Aruba, where we started our day off with a hike to the second highest peak on the island, spent the afternoon getting harassed by donkeys, and had a very windy but still beautiful picnic on the beach. This week, we continue our adventures on the island of Aruba. Welcome to Aruba, part two. If you've been following our channel, then you know that earlier this year, we experienced our first all-inclusive resort. And today is a big day because we're gonna be going to our first all-inclusive <laughs> island. That's right, we're about to head to De Palm Island, which is a small private island off the coast of Aruba. It's a five minute ferry ride over, which you might see right behind us, yep, actually. Right there. Once we get there, we're gonna be met with endless drinks, food, banana boat rides, snorkeling. And flamingos. <laughs> and so much more, so let's get going. <laughs> so chairs here on the island are first come first serve unless you pay a whole lot of money for some of the upgrades for like private cabanas and stuff which yeah. we did not do so we literally got on the boat at like 10 30. it's supposed to open at 11 but yep. i mean this place is already packed so yep. get here as early as you possibly can yep. if you want a spot here yeah we got yep. these and we got awesome people next to us that said we could use their cabana to put our stuff underneath it so yep. so now it's time to explore the all-inclusive island yeah let's do it <laughs> juice and I love it. Mine is not. Oh really? It's good but mine's kind of strong. I feel like my teeth are gonna be blue now. I got it because it matches my bathing suit and the ocean. Mine does doesn't match anything no. but <laughs> mm, it's a hot one so we're gonna definitely need a lot of refreshments today. Yes I'm already pouring sweat and we've been here a half hour <laughs> maybe. Yeah. things that we forgot a our beer buddies because this is all inclusive you can yep. keep your drink cold and perfect but upset about that second thing guys we forgot our snorkel gear we literally flew with it so yep. we could have it for today and we completely forgot about it yeah we have Oops. it in our room but yeah so i think we're gonna be using theirs Ooh. Yeah. yeah which i'm not a huge fan of but oh well do what we gotta do very rocky yes <laughs> so if you have water shoes bring them we recommend it we have our flip-flops, but they're kind of a pain in water, so yeah. we're just toughing it out. I am so excited to get my hair wet, so let's go do that now. <laughs> it's a lot less rocky when you get out. <laughs> I'm literally living my best life. Sun, ocean, can't get better than this. What time is it? Banana boat time. <laughs> Why? Oh, if it's 
See, they have them out there. I think we just need to wait. Okay, so they're taking a lunch break. So this yep. is the last boat ride. <laughs> so that means we'll probably have to go get lunch or something yes. and then come back and do the banana boat. Yeah. We're not gonna do lunch right now. So instead, we're gonna go to the slides while everybody else is eating lunch. Hopefully they're still open and then there won't be any lines. I think we should start medium and then go up high. So start small and go big. Yeah, because I think the last one's gonna give me a wedgie. It does look like it will. Yeah. So, a quick negative about the Palm Island. It seems like a lot of things close even though you're only on the island for like five or six hours. It seems like things should just be open for the six hours that they're open, but right now the biggest slide that we were most looking forward to is closed and it doesn't look like it's just closed for lunch. But maybe it is, we'll have to ask. Either way, it's kind of an inconvenience when you pay so much money. It comes out to about $20 an hour for how long you're out here. So, it seems like they should just be open the whole time. Due to the tropical storm. <laughs> after that one. That was awesome! All right, that was awesome. Take two, switch and slides. That was awesome! Yeah, that balloon was pitch black. I wasn't prepared. I was like screaming. I was like, where well, am I? I kind of got a little discombobulated in that one. I'm kind of down for maybe like some food and drinks now. All right. And then maybe we do a couple more slides later. Food and drinks it is. And then definitely banana boats are coming up soon. <laughs> Pretty good. There's some things that look better than others. What you expect out of a buffet, all-inclusive kind of place, but I can't complain. They had a ton of selection, especially on the salad bar, but got barbecue chicken, grouper filet, pasta, rice. We're about to dig in. And I got a lot of pineapple. <laughs> they also have another restaurant across the property near the beach where we're at, and it does more of just like what? Hamburgers, yeah, hot dogs. Yeah, hamburgers, hot dogs, french fries, that kind of stuff. But we decided to try this since they said it was more of a Caribbean flavor bar. I'm gonna dig in with pineapple. Grouper filet. For it being imported, there's real good pineapple. Mine is, as I expect, grouper filet on a buffet to be. Oh, it's okay. So-so. Eh, but I didn't expect amazing things out of the food here. It's more about the experience, being on the beach all day. I mean, this view, we literally yep. have a 288 degree ocean view. Yep, beautiful. are full. What sounds better than going on a banana boat? Yeah, getting tossed around the ocean for about a half hour, you know? So we were told earlier that it was about a 20 minute banana boat ride, but that was when nobody was in line. And now there are a lot of people in line and it's looking like it's more like a five minute banana boat ride. That might be good since we just had lunch and we're gonna have to wait A good forever. little while, so we'll see. <laughs> 87 minutes later. It feels like it. Bacon in the sun over here. I hope I get a tan finally. I hope I don't get burned. <laughs> Can we go in here? So we were gonna go. We were really excited, but uh, yeah. it was full. So now yeah. we get to ride the boat though, yeah. and then, then we'll come back the again. banana boat. <laughs> <laughs> we luck. get a free boat ride. <laughs>
boat was fun, but I think this is gonna be way better. <laughs> I'm excited to go Boy, banana happens. boating. <laughs> you said no. <laughs> she said no. What? We're in the van. Yeah. We're at the back of the orca. It's not really a banana yep. boat. Yeah, it's an orca. It's an orca boat. <laughs> They said three minute ride. So maybe we just misheard them earlier. Three maybe minutes. instead of 30 minutes, it was three yeah, minutes. Yeah, maybe it was three. Maybe we, it was lost in translation a little bit, which I makes more sense. I'm super curious how long we've waited in line. Matt has started to get sunburned. That's how long, so. I'm thinking a good. 45 minutes to an hour? To an hour. Yeah, we're probably closer to an hour. We've yeah. been so when they say unlimited <laughs> banana boat rides, if you're willing, you could probably get six in. If you <laughs> maybe six, only yeah. waited in line for banana boats all day. But nonetheless, I think it's gonna be fun. <laughs> So we're the only boat that I've seen yet that everyone literally got everyone slipped at the very end. <laughs> it was fun though. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so after that awesome excursion, we're yeah. gonna probably go get something to drink and then maybe snorkel and reapply my sunscreen. Oh yeah, Matt's That's, shoulders are there's rough. There's no shade in that waiting <laughs> line. So the first thing on the agenda is something cold to drink. Yes! <laughs> Thank you. We're gonna do something that I'm super excited about, <laughs> flamingos! So we're here with the flamingos. They have this little gate here and you can't cross it if you're like general admission. Yes, yeah, so you can upgrade to like a beach cabana is what they call it. Yeah. And I think that starts at like $400 per day. Yeah. Which is a little crazy. And then on top of that, right now, you can't even get close to the flamingos even with the beach cabana. Yeah, they put this in between as like a little divider. Yeah, so. I think I heard the uh, security saying that they were currently sick, the flamingos or something. Oh. I think that's what I heard him say, but I'm not sure if that's the just bird a, flu. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's still really cool to see. Yeah, they've got, like you can see, they've only got about seven flamingos here. Many times you'll see people getting pictures like right up close and personal with them. But we came on a day that they're sick yeah. and we weren't paying $400 for a cabana. <laughs> New. So this is what you're going to see right here. <laughs> still pretty cool though. Scuba Nat over here. Scuba Nat! <laughs> Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. On a clear good day, you can see it even better. Yeah. 
Yeah, we're out here in deep water, guys. Yeah, last time I saw something. I can barely see bottom of it. Look how far out we are. Look at that. Old Wayne brought us way out here. Yeah, <laughs> Natalie said, I'm going to keep my vest inflated. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to stay right here. Guys, ready to go back in? Sure. All right, let's take your time. This is actually pretty incredible snorkeling. Sort of like. Here we go, guys. Let's bring you water, which is technically it's all good. Like said, which is technically international waters. So, tip your guides well. They deserve it. So sorry for the abrupt ending on the snorkeling. Both of our GoPro batteries actually died. Yep, because <laughs> it was awesome. Yeah. I haven't done snorkeling like that where you literally yeah. step down and you, I mean, there are fish everywhere. The yeah. coral reef starts right there, so. Yeah. And Owain, who was our guide who took us out, he took us way out, deeper than I've ever snorkeled. I mean, I could, oh it was gosh. dark blue water. like. I think he it told like, us it was international waterway at that point. Oh yeah, it was like 50 meters deep. Yeah, it was pretty incredible though. I was nowhere, I, I was like, oh, I'm gonna free dive this thing, go down. I didn't even get like a quarter of the way down. <laughs> and I said, nope, <laughs> not doing that. Too deep for me. Y'all know I have a fear of it. deep dark water, so that but was a no-go. the snorkeling was incredible. We highly recommend it. Now we're gonna go chill out by the beach for a little bit. Yeah. We got a little bit before the ferry leaves. Yeah, and we're gonna push it till the very end. <laughs> we have the whole whole place to ourselves. So we're getting our stuff now and we are headed. We were literally one of the last people here. Shutting it down, per huge. We should have brought our whistles that our patron Jason gave us because <laughs> there is a ferry. The last one leaves in less than five minutes. We still have and, to shower. And they didn't tell us like with the train in Colorado, we heard the train whistle blow and knew yeah. we were pushing it. We don't know with this one. We don't know if there's a boat whistle. Yeah, or... they're just gonna leave us, I think so. There could be worse places to be stuck. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> They do have a lot of other things here. So see truck right here, they have an underwater plane, a bus, and a truck, I think Owain was telling us. But I mean, it looks really cool. You have like a helmet and you go down and you have air. They also have snuba, which is like you get your own line and you get to go down to the water. So it's kind of like scuba diving, but you don't have to have all the equipment on you. Again, they have private cabanas, which are a little pricey for us, but they were like $200 anywhere to like 450 somewhere in there. It kind of reminded me of the Maldives a little bit where you had your own entrance into the ocean. So you literally could have all your own snorkel gear and just like go and do your own things. Now the beach cabanas, luxury beach beds, refrigerator with a bottle of Prosecco, juice, water, sofa area, table, towels, private shower, and concierge service, and flamingos. I would do this unless the flamingos are feeling 100% and you want to hang out the flamingos, definitely do the beach cabanas. So much 
much fun, but man, did it fly by. It really did. But there are a few things we want to make note of about our experience here on De Palm Island. Obviously, it's all inclusive. So that means all your drinks, food, and activities are included, which is really <laughs> nice if you don't want to carry a wallet. Yep. That said, if you're staying at an all-inclusive here on Aruba, I think De Palm Island is probably yeah. something you can skip out on because you're not going to get your money's worth out of just the activities. Now, speaking of activities, the snorkeling was amazing. Oh, yeah. We haven't been to a place where you literally just walk out from the island and I mean, there's coral and fish and it was beautiful. Yep, and the banana boat ride was incredible once we got past that one hour wait yeah. to get on it, but huh. <laughs> <laughs> Again, same thing with the slides. It was a little bit of a toss up. Slides were great. The one that we really wanted to do wasn't even open. The big question is if we had to do it all over again, would we come back to De Palm Island? And I think the answer is. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I think it was worth worth every single penny, especially if you have family. Yeah, so many times things that are family friendly don't mean they're so couple friendly yeah. because we might not want to hear screaming kids all day, but thankfully the kids section was completely separate so you still had this great peaceful serene experience on the beach while the kids could scream and shout in their water park area, which was awesome. But if you have any questions about De Palm Island, if you're planning a visit here, check out our blog. The link is down in the description. We'll have a whole blog write up on everything you need to know before you go, plus a packing list List, so check it out. Hopefully we can answer your questions there. We hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it. So please make sure you give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe. And we will see you next, next week. week. Right. This is so cool. Oh. At the front, per usual. <laughs>